You're listening to the Chatterbox Young Adult Book Review on the Audio Flow. Hi, everyone. Welcome to the Chatterbox. I am your host, Jacques, and we are featuring this episode on Booking Around Town. I just left PandCon. I love that event. I try to get there every year, although this was my second time. But I finally have a chance to sit down and chat with one of my favorite young YA authors, actually middle grade. Should we say it's like middle grade? Yeah. So we have LG Miles, which I just started calling him Landon because LG just seems too complicated for me. So welcome to the show, Landon. How are you? Good. So did you have a good time this weekend? I really did. And um, and I know a lot of people um, say, like, you are 11 years old and and you wrote this book at 10. And some people think that it's, it's because I'm young and people just think that I sell, I sell every single time because I'm young. And the reason why I wanted to be an author in the first place is because I was inspired by my mom, A. Miles. And, um, and, the reason, and the reason why is I like people to think my stories are awesome. They do think your stories are awesome. You know, I came by your table last year when you wrote your first book. And just in the last year, you've grown so much, not just in height, like you're almost taller than me without your hat. (laughs) And last year, you actually sold out your books, too. So what's it like when you're at an event and you actually sell out and there's no books left? How do you feel about that? It feels pretty awesome because usually the f- uh, first day here at PinCon, you um like this year I brought 150 books with me, and I and then at the end of the day I had 32 books left. Wow. And um and the whenever um yesterday I came out of lunch, um one person said I like to buy five of your books please. That's awesome. So as a young author, do you see your fans? Do fans come by and they want to take pictures with you and everything? Sometimes. Sometimes. No, I think I saw a couple people at your table snapping pictures. You have a fan base. How is I mean, at a, so last year you wrote your first book with your mom, Amy, yeah. um, and you have this whole thing that's kind of this carnival kind of background. What is it about carnivals that kind of excites you or makes you happy? Well, I know my mom really, really hates clowns, so <laughs> I thought it would be something that I thought it would be something that would change in my life. So mm-hmm. I thought, because my favorite uh, character of all movies is the Joker. Mm-hmm. So, um, so I thought since I'll make someone kind of like him, I would make a clown which I thought would be better would be a clown ghost I like it and so um so did that help your mother not like clowns as much when you guys were oh no she still doesn't like clowns oh no after watching America's Got Talent and uh watch a blog clown sing I think it's worse oh gosh (laughs) (laughs) so tell us a little bit about your second book that that uh came out Uh, I think it came out like a week or two ago yeah all right and what's the name of the second book called the Ruby Eye, and basically um, it's when the three friends find out the true mystery of why the trickster ghost want, uh, wants to be free, and we um, at near the end we find out what he will do. Um, and so at the, um, at the very, very end, there'll be a really, really big surprise. So you left, is it a cliffhanger? Is there going to be a book three? Yeah. So, yeah, you left us on a cliffhanger, huh? Yeah. Who taught you that? My mom. <laughs> oh, yeah. So everybody thank Amy that uh, that there's a cliffhanger in book two. And so have you guys already started on book three yet? No, but I thought a lot of stuff. And sadly, this will be the end of the Trickster series. And it'll mm-hmm. be called Last Trick because I mm-hmm. thought it would be really good to yeah. um, say that. Uh so but I have been thinking of me and my mom have been thinking about a new series. It's called um it's this new series, it's gonna be a lot of books. It's called it's called Monster Mayhem. Oh, I and like it. So it's about so it's it's really cool. It's like uh you you choose your own adventure. Mm-hmm. So like it says, So we're gonna do this, which the and which like choose this or this and you choose one of them and says, Okay, go to this page and continue. Oh, I like that concept. You came up with that all by yourself and you told her that's what you wanted. 
No, my mom, oh, actually. But so. you came up with the idea of the title of the book and the idea of it. So, yes. all right, well, I'm looking forward to that. That sounds, and you said there's going to be a lot of books in that series. Yeah, there's going to be a lot because we have about 43 covers printed out. Wow. So we have a lot. So do you think that that book is going, is it going to be about the same amount of pages as your other book or do you think they're going to be a little shorter? Uh, a little bit shorter, mm-hmm. but I bet by next, um, my next pin call will be uh, about five or three books out okay. for it. And um, and for my last trick, uh, I'm going to do a, um, like, all three, all three books into one big book. Okay. So I thought that would be pretty good because, well, it would be, and the price would be a little bit higher because since they're both $5 and all of them would be $15. So. See, he's already talking about money and everything. I like that. We're fist bumping. Yes. All right. We have an author, and he's also doing marketing and thinking about price points. Yeah, that's good. That's somebody who knows business. So you can take some information from him and put them all in the book. So so your your first series is going to be coming to an end soon. Yeah. And how do you feel that you and your mom together will actually finish a full project? And it probably maybe take took about two and a half years or so one year two so about two and a half years how are you going to celebrate the end of the series you think well um i was actually thinking last night um i was thinking for celebrating i was thinking of doing um doing like a little surprise mm-hmm. for some people i was thinking for uh for the sixth year for pincon 2019 mm-hmm. think of doing a spinoff oh nice just as a special. Yes. But for the 2018 Pin Con, we will get introduced to the new series. Yes. Which I like the fact that you guys have this idea of us choosing our adventure. Yeah. Which is something cool because, you know, sometimes in movies they have alternate endings. Yeah. And it's like if you press this one, it's going to go that way. And so, um, so we'll be looking at monsters, so it won't be so much... Of you're retiring your top hat. Yeah. Are you okay? Uh, kind of sad about that. Yeah, I, I, I was actually thinking of like you know looking for like a monster costume or something. You should yeah. totally do it. Yeah. But you outgrew all your stuff from last year because like you're so tall. Yeah. <laughs> so did you get to see any people this year that um, that came by your booth last year? Any people that you recognized or remember? Yeah, so there is a fifth grader teacher that uh, that the um, so everybody in that and their classroom last year really loved my first book. Mm-hmm. So um, so the, every one of them in the classroom like ta- um, told me questions and put them in an envelope and mm-hmm. sh- um, and mailed it to me. Uh-huh. So I read all of them and I thought it'd be really really cool. Instead of writing a letter back, I'll give them a video back. So on the first day of Pin Con, um, she said that um, last year they watched the video on the on the big screen. Mm-hmm. They had like a big projector. They watched it two times because they loved it so much. Oh, see, I told you you have fans. You have a whole classroom yeah. who enjoys your work. And so, of course, I bought your book, yeah. and I have your first book. I have five copies of the first book, and. I should have bought five copies of the second book to go with it so I could do a giveaway for all five. But I know how to reach you. Yeah. And I can I can just send you a message and you can send those signs to me. So I love it. And so now PanCon is over. Yeah. I know that you guys have, you know, it's really busy during this week. So what are you excited about now that Pan's over? What are you going to do to kind of just relax? Um... Well, uh, I usually do the relax. I usually, uh, well, so well sometimes when I before I go to sleep, I think about like new stuff, or, like new books and stuff. Like, mm-hmm. oh, this is good. Wait, no, oh, this is good. No, <laughs> that's not relaxing. That's work. You <laughs> learned that from your mom. Don't yeah. do that. That's bad behavior. No. Yeah. <laughs> Just so do so when you have those thoughts, do you write them down? Do you have like something next to your bed or where, or a recorder or something where you write those ideas down? No, I, I actually um, sadly I don't have a recorder or anything. Mm-hmm. I just um, to um to be honest, I haven't told my mom this, but I have a hidden notebook under my bed. Oh, she's and... gonna hear this, so she's gonna know about it now. <laughs> 
I actually have a notebook <laughs> under my bed that actually um, that actually has all my ideas and stuff. Uh huh. Um, and actually, the reason how um how I actually thought of the book Trickster for the very very first time, uh-huh. it was it was actually pretty funny. So. How I got the idea was I was at my grandpa's house and um, I was watching a movie. It was called Ghost Hunters, mm-hmm. and it was about these three kids that went up uh, that teenagers don't told them to say it's haunted house for all night sleep mm-hmm. over. Apparently, there was like this game that um, game that died there, mm-hmm. and there was like a ghost dog or something. A ghost dog. And so, <laughs> and so, so at, at the end of the movie, I went to my bathroom, looked in the mirror, I was like. You know what this is this is pretty I actually had a pretty good idea because like in the scene of the um of the of the book and behind the scenes actually whenever Jack went to the bathroom there was a mirror and he saw him through the mirror ah. and while I was looking through the mirror the I pretend I thought oh, it was me looking through the mirror uh-huh. so um so the I, I my my best friend Lincoln um he um he goes to school with me he came to my house. We were in my backyard. Um, I had my zip line. I was writing down my zip line. And I was talking, and I'm like, "What would be a really good name for this ghost clown?" So, so he helped you out with that particular book. So yeah. it seems like you enjoy paranormal and kind of creepy stuff. Is yeah. that? Um, no, we cannot be friends anymore because. <laughs> See, I'd be totally scared. I shouldn't be scared reading your book, right? It's 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 not it's gonna creep me out, is it? No. Are you sure? No. You promise? <laughs> yeah, I promise. I, I don't know. You smile it too much for for that to be. <laughs> well, well, maybe for like a little five year old at the end, like near the end of Ruby Eye, might be a little scary. But I mean, like the average um, age for like uh, I think of like mm-hmm. seven to eight. Um, seven to twelve. I mean, uh-huh. I think they won't scare out. But I think it's um. But we actually have a new character in um, in the Ruby Eye. Okay. Um, it, it's actually pretty funny. Well, me and my mom thought of this because I have a dog that's named Molly. Uh-huh. She is pretty fat, and so <laughs> uh, Jack has an animal. It's called um, it's called it's a cat, and it's called Fat Whiskers. Fat Whiskers. <laughs> so. <laughs> So, um, so he's a new character in uh, in the Ruby Eye. He's not in it a lot, but he is. Uh, he is like part of the team, but he won't be in it a lot. So mm-hmm. that's good. So, what are you gonna do with him? Is he you gonna get put him in the third book? Oh, you don't have to tell us that. Just uh, nod your head or say no. <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> well, that sounds like a lot of fun. You're very busy. You're yes. a very busy um, young guy, and I wish you so much success Thank you. on the rest of your work and your books. I hope that you really do uh, get some time to just chill out, yeah. and uh, we won't tell your mom about your secret notebook <laughs> okay. under the bed. That'll be our secret. Yeah. Mom, Amy, don't listen to that part. Don't go searching for the notebook. That's his private stuff, right? I, I might actually hide somewhere else. Yeah, you need to. Exactly. That's like a password. You say your password out loud. You have to change it. I'll probably so, put it in my attic. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But don't tell them that, too. So now they're going to listen and know to look up. The, just yeah. don't, don't mention. Just you know, yeah. nope, I have no private notebook, and yeah. it's nowhere in the house. Yeah. That's how you go with that. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Landon, thank you so much for joining me on this episode. I look forward to chatting with you again next year. Yep. So we'll chat about your next book. And, of course, you know I'm going to buy them all. Yeah. So thank you so much. Everybody, thank you so much for joining us for this episode of The Chatterbox. You can find us on Twitter at The Chatterbox YA, also on Instagram at The Chatterbox. Box YA. This episode can also be found on iHeartRadio and tune in under the Booking Around Town channel, as well as you can download it on iTunes and Google Play. And until next time, we'll see you. Have a great week.